Check this out. So this is Vivo's IQ latest flagship device. It's the IQ9 Pro, but this is the BMW M Sport Partnership Edition that looks fantastic. Let's check it out. The box branding is pretty basic with a BMW Motorsport branding and inside the box, you get the device itself. There's a card in there as well with BMW M4 GT3 with IQ uh, partnership branding all over it, which looks fantastic by the way. I would love to drive this one day. And with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 inside, I hope this is as fast as the M4 GT3. Moving on, we have a silicone case that mimics the back of the device design so you can still flash the brand in, unlike most cases that you get out there. You get a USB-C cable, you get a USB-C to 3.5 millimeters audio adapter, which I haven't seen in any packaging in a while. And there's also a 120 watt fast charging brick. On the device itself, on the right is the volume rocker and a blue power button. I feel like the power button should have been red for power, but blue works too. Down at the bottom, we have a speaker grill, which is pretty loud actually. You have a USB-C port, microphone, and a SIM card tray, which supports the dual SIM setup, but there's no expansion slot here. Up top is another microphone and what seems like an IR blaster. Again, something that I don't see very often on smartphone these days. On the back is a big camera housing that dominates the back of the device, but I kind of dig it. You get a triple sensor, so triple camera setup, and an LED flash, the main camera here is a 50 megapixel Samsung ISOCELL Gen 5 sensor at f1.75 aperture with face detect autofocus and that gimbal stabilization we know from Vivo. You get an ultra wide 50 megapixel Samsung ISOCELL sensor at f2.2 aperture with autofocus and a 16 megapixel telephoto lens at f2.2 with PDAF and OIS with up to 2.5 times optical zoom. Moving on to the front, we have a 16 megapixel f2.45 selfie camera which is embedded in that punch hole cutout and behind its 6.78 inch 3200 by 1400 AMOLED display is a Qualcomm 3D Sonic Max ultrasonic fingerprint sensor which works pretty well and you can also register your face for face unlock. The display is very bright, vibrant, sharp and great for gaming with up to 120 hertz refresh rate, 360 hertz touch sampling rate and 1500 nits of peak brightness. With LTPO2 tech, it can also be dialed down to one hertz when showing still images, for example. And in settings, you can either allow the AI to automatically adjust as you use it, or you can pick between 60 hertz and 120 hertz refresh, even at its highest resolution. Elsewhere, we have a 4,700 milliamp hour battery. There's 50 watt wireless charging capability. It has reverse wireless charging, and as mentioned already, you get the latest and most powerful Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 with Adreno 730 GPU. There's LPDDR5 RAM and UFS 3.1 storage for fast data. This version here has 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of internal storage. And there's also a 512 gigabyte version available too. For cooling, there's a 3D 18 fold vapor chamber cooling system. It has no IP certification and supports Wi-Fi 6. Initial benchmarking, uh, in case you care about Geekbench, shows a promising performance generally with signs of a small improvement in the GPU area. But in reality, this thing will blaze through games like Call of Duty with no issue at all, and even allows you to give it its maximum power output when gaming using that built-in gaming software. Speaking of software, you have FunTouch OS 12, which is based on Android 12 out of the box, and it runs very smoothly with some features such as personalization of animation effects, sound settings allowing you to optimize sound quality with audio super resolution, you have iFi settings and Super Audio as well. Ultra game mode settings allow you to adjust things like eSports mode, off-screen autoplay, game sidebar, game display enhancements, game frame interpolation, 4D game vibration, and more. More on the camera though. As well as being able to shoot at up to 8K at 30 frames per second, you have a high level of stabilization, motion focusing, there's pro mode available there as well if you want to tweak things, there's night mode, but what's really cool is our IQ is utilizing the ultra wide angle lens with the ability to capture fisheye shots with crystal, asteroid and rabbit hole effect in photo mode. It would have been nice if this was available in video mode as well. Overall, I love the design. The front glass is curved, which is not my favorite thing, but it adds to the premium aesthetics. The carbon fiber finishing on the back gives it a cool, sporty look alongside the BMW M Sport stripes. And although you don't have IP rating, it still has a sturdy aluminum frame and Gorilla Glass Victors, which is quite robust. It has a powerful processor and internals, excellent camera quality, and the latest Android software to compete in the flagship device space. So that's it for the IQ9 Pro BMW M Sport Edition, partnership edition. 
But guys, as always, let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you get one of these? Is it a worthy flagship device in this day and age? Let me know in the comments below as well. All relevant links and information will be in the description area, so do check it out. And as always, if this is your first time around here, please do subscribe, smash the like button and the bell notification as well. So if you do like smartphones and you want to see their reviews, you get notified every time they're uploaded on the channel. And please do check out other videos up on the channel as well. You might like them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.